Hey guys, Jason here, and today I want to talk to you about debt. Good debt versus bad debt. Hey listen, when we go and borrow, or we use our income for leverage and we be, we're able to purchase something, it can be used for good or it can be used for bad. As a property investor, we use our income and our deposit to purchase investment properties. But hey, there's other debts too that we're exposed to that cause ourselves some problems. And I want to go through those today. Let's have a little definition of good debt versus bad debt. Good debt. Good debt produces something. Produces, uh, for me as a property investor and for you as a property investor, produces an income. We purchase an asset that produces an income. We get some tax deductions from that property that we own. And over time, we're going to get some growth. Okay, so good debt produces something that adds value to our life, our income, our value, our asset base, and adds value to our future, a medium to long term future. It adds value, it produces something. However, bad debt consumes something, consumes. It consumes your ability to uh, borrow into the future and now it destroys your your capacity to buy good quality assets uh, Consumer debt or bad debt creates no income doesn't have any income at all Okay, no incomes. There is no tax deductions on consumer debt. I just bought a new pair of shoes on my credit card gone, okay, no no debt and often 100% of the time something we bought depreciates in value, goes down in value, down in value, not up in value um, over time, right? If we leave a piece of real estate for a, a loan for 10 years, we're hoping it's go up in value, 99% of the time it does. If we have a brand new car over 10 years, it goes down in value um, and reduces or eliminates that value of the asset or the thing that we think we own. Good debt versus bad debt goes up, goes down, basic understanding. All right, what's a, piece, what's a good debt? What can we buy? We can buy properties, properties. We can buy shares. We can leverage and get into business. All of those have different uh, risks when we purchase or we use leverage, risk. Uh, and we use the, something called the loan to value ratio, the ability for us to borrow um, against the value of those, pro those assets. Often, uh, property, you can borrow 80, 90, to 90%. Shares, somewhere around 70 to 80% um, on, on, on average. And business, um, depending, you know, 50 to 60%, if you're lucky, if you're lucky, because business carries the highest risk. Many businesses fail, and lending is very difficult for an asset like a business. So guys, there you go, you've got good debt, Hopefully, for us as investors, and well, I'm talking about property because I'm a property investor, and you might be too. Property gives us good income immediately from the rent. It gives us tax deductions, and over time, we want it to grow in value. All good stuff produces some value for us. I call that good debt. Has to be used wisely. Don't over leverage um, for your circumstance or situation. Bad debt, it consumes us, doesn't create an income, no tax deduction, goes down in value. Absolutely no good. A car, a brand new car, moment you drive it off the lot, over. You know, you bought it for 60 grand and it's worth 40 grand. You couldn't sell it the next day for what you bought it for, right? Furniture, a lot of people put their furniture uh, on a store card or a credit card or something like that, boom, down in value it goes. Literally overnight, uh, the, the new lounge you bought now is worth bugger all. You couldn't sell it on Gumtree. You have to pay for something to take away. Store cards, store credit cards or credit cards, no good. You put your lunch on your credit card and you, and you bought it for 10 bucks and you don't pay it off for three years and that actually costs you $200 to buy your lunch because of the compounding interest. Absolutely terrible. High interest rates in the double digits, you know, usually between 15 and 20% interest. And that, guys, is cancer. It is poison, poison to your ability to borrow. It destroys your, what we call a servicing, okay? Servicing, the ability to service, to borrow wisely with good debt, to buy some assets that go up in value, give you income, give you some tax deductions. So that's how we look at it, guys. Good debt gives you some good stuff, obviously. 
bad debt, it consumes us. We consume something and it consumes us. It destroys our future, bad debt. Hopefully when we choose good assets, it produces something for us in the future as well. If you do it wisely, you do it properly. Guys, there you go. Quick, good versus bad um, about debt. And maybe if you want to understand how to apply the debt ratios or the debt uh, towards good assets. And when I'm talking about property investing, you've got to come along to one of our property investment nights. We, talk, we teach you about good debt, how to structure it using the right um, uh, loan to value ratios, servicing, offset accounts, etc., etc. Get along to one of our property investment nights and learn from our qualified um, property investors there um, about how good debt can work for you uh, safely and securely uh, creating a future that you want. So guys, until we see you in person, uh, take care. Bye for now.